Good afternoon. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to um, log into Moodle and as well as how to add different types of resources to Moodle. Now, basically there are two um, different types of methods that one can use to access Moodle. One uh, method is via the NIPA website and the second method is um, accessing it directly um, using its uh, domain name. So the first method, you will go to your browser. Um, once you go to your browser, when your browser opens, you can put the NIPA website, like www.nipa.ac.zm. And uh, once you've done that, you place enter, then the NIPA website is going to load. From the NIPA website, you will need to come and click on um, uh, home services. And from home services, a drop-down menu is going to be invoked. From the drop-down menu, you come and click where it's written e-learning. Then once you've done that, uh, then the Moodle uh, logging page is going to open. So I will close this um, to demonstrate on how to access Moodle directly. So again, I will come and click on my browser then uh, this particular time i will enter the moodle domain name which is elearning.nipa.ac.zm uh, then when i enter then it will take me to the logging page for moodle where again i'll be required or prompted to enter the username and password for my case uh, i'll enter my username and uh, having done that, I will enter also my password. So once I've entered my username and uh, password, it will take me to the home page for Moodle or the dashboard, sometimes we call it. Now, you are going to see on your left hand side the various uh, courses that have been assigned to you under the sub menu called My Courses and the description of the full uh, course titles. You will see them right here on um, the course overview um, section. So for this demonstration, I'm going to be using um, advanced database um, management system. So I will click on advanced management database system and it will bring me to a window where I'll be allowed to make changes. Now, one of the most important things that we need to bear in mind uh, as we're trying to edit the content of the course is the gear, right? Which sometimes is called the, 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 the settings icon. You realize the fact that when this page loads, um, the system is in a non-editing mode. So we need to turn on uh, the editing by coming um, to the gear here so I'll click on the arrow here there's a drop down menu which is going to be open and from the drop down menu i will select the second option which is uh, 10 editing on and once i've done that you will notice some changes here like a plus which is appended to each and every letter like here you see more like uh, this particular plus signs which was not there earlier on so now I will come to the first topic, you know, by default Moodle gives it topic one. So I will come and click here where it's written edit, click on the, on the arrow and say edit topic. And once I've done that, the a different window is going to be opened, which is, which gives me access to edit the, the topic. Now I will need to tick or check here where it's written custom then the system now will move the topic one and I'm supposed to give it the name of my first topic. Like in this particular case for me, uh, the first topic in databases is, is design methodology. Now you can provide a brief summary of the course or you leave it blank, it definitely it's up to you. And once you've done that, you can scroll down and click on save um, changes right now once you have done that you will notice that the first topic has changed from topic one 
to the desired topic. Now, the second step is adding resources to it. So I will need to bring my cursor and click where it's written add an activity or resource. So when I click there, there's another dialog box which is going to be opened. So there are two categories. There is what is called activities. And if I scroll down here, there is what is called uh, resources. Right. So the issue of uh, um, assignments, it will fall under activities. Then issue of uh, adding um, or attaching books or handouts to the students, it will fall under uh, resources. So since I want to add an, uh, a handout, I will come under the section resources and click on file. So once I've done that, I will come and click on the button here, add. And uh, the add resource dialog or window is going to be opened. So I'll come here and indicate that what I'm giving them is uh, notes on uh, design, um, design methodology. Okay, like I mentioned also here, you can put a brief description, um, it's optional. Then you can scroll down and you come at the section where it is going to allow us now to add resources. And I think the easiest way um, to do that is you minimize the window. You come here on the minimizing uh, icon. Then you go to your location. Like for me, my location for my resources and if on the desktop, um, the folder called all class notes I open it I come to a folder called advanced um, databases and another folder called latest database then this is the resource that I want I'll just need to click and hold it then drag it to my browser then it will open the Moodle window and uh, drop the resource like that then just like that um, I've added a resource and I can scroll down here and click on save to retain to course. Once I've done that, you will notice now that the title has changed and there, there is a, uh, a resource which has been added to the first, you know, um, first topic. So I can come again here, uh, edit again, following the same process for us to manipulate or change the second topic. I will click on edit, then uh, edit topic in this particular time and then again I'll click on uh, custom and this particular time my second topic is looking at security so it's security and threats right option again I mentioned that the summary here it's optional I'll come down here and click on save changes uh, once I've done that you see that the title has changed here I can as well now go ahead and add an activity, right? And again, the activity or uh, resource dialog box is going to be opened. I will scroll down here and click where it's written uh, file. Then from there, I will add. Then again, it will give me the interface for me to add um, resources to this particular topic. So, the title again, I'll say notes on um, security, security and rights. I will scroll down and uh, come to the section where, you know, uh, it will allow me to drag uh, the, the resource there. Like I mentioned earlier on, I'll go and minimize. Then from there, um, come on the resource which is uh, database security and threats drag it here to my browser and drop it there having done that I'll click on save to return to course right so you can you know go ahead and change you know um, all these particular topics now one thing you're going to notice is that Moodle will probably sometimes give you um, topics up to five, up to six. Now what happens if you've got um, you know more topics? Maybe it goes on up to seven or eight. Now what you can just do is you can come if you check right at the end here it says add what topics. 
So I will click here, right? So how many number of sections do I want to add? So if I just want to add two more topics, meaning that I want it to go uh, up to eight topics because at the moment we are having only up to six topics and I want to add two more. So what I'll just do here, because you notice that there's one, I'll delete the number one and I'll put two. Then from there, I'll click on add topics. Having done that, Moodle will add seven and eight topics, right? Um, if probably you're going up to seven and you don't want um, topic eight, you can just come on here, edit, you will click there and then say delete topic. So if you do that, it means the eighth topic we've deleted will only go up to seven. So you can go on and uh, you know add more resources um, to the respective uh, topics. And when you're done, remember, you're supposed to come back here to the gear or the, the, the setting icons and turn editing off. And uh, once you've done that, you know, when you're through, you can come here where your name is and uh, click on the arrow there and then you log out. So that's um, the brief introduction on how to add, you know, resources to Moodle. We'll make other videos which will demonstrate how to add assignments and different types of uh, uh, resources and activities. Um, thank you.